The history of the sitar dates back to at least six centuries and it holds a place of honour in India's musical heritage. This doesn't make it a museum piece, as multi-award winning musician Niladri Kumar showed when he toured South Africa recently, courtesy of Inner Circle Entertainment. Cape Town music lovers were treated to an experience of altered musical awareness recently. Multi-award winning musicians Naladri Kumar and Vijay Gatta are in South Africa for the Raga Ecstasy concert. I'm looking forward to meeting them backstage to find out how the show came about. It's thanks to a dedicated local impresario that we had the opportunity to hear these renowned musicians in action. Nisar Pangaka is one of South Africa's leading producers of Indian classical music and it's always great to be chatting with him. Nisar, what inspired the Raga Ecstasy concert? Well, Raga Ecstasy this evening we have two really fantastic artists performing. You know, there's been such an, a, a growth in the audience, but also a growth in audience appreciation for Indian classical music and light classical music and collaborative projects that I've decided this year it has to be Niladri Kumar. He's uh, one of the young next generation sitar players, just in his early 40s, and he's known as the Maverick sitar player. And uh, I think he's done so much for the music. He's taken five generations of their tradition, the family tradition of sitar, and really molded and adapted that form to appeal to a much wider and younger audience, in fact. And we'll see that all happen here on stage tonight. This would be the first time that many local fans of Indian music would get to hear Niladri Kumar performing live. And from the opening bars, more than fulfilled their expectations. It was immediately apparent that while Niladri is an acclaimed innovator, he's also mastered the classical form. This is the result of long and intensive study, which began at the age of four under the tutelage of his father. You've created a unique instrument called the zitar. What is it and why didn't you call it a zitar? Zitar is an acoustic instrument. Zitar is an electric instrument. So, I mean, the basic comparison is like a, having an acoustic guitar and having an electric guitar. Do you feel that the youth appreciate Indian classical music? It's uh, something which I think uh, is growing by the day. And uh, it's sometimes it's just that the availability of it is not that easy, especially in India, where with film music being primarily like ruling the roost. <laughs> and uh, somewhere classical music is somewhere down in that list. Niladri was accompanied by renowned tabla player Vijay Ghate, who recently performed in South Africa alongside Deepak Pandit. Music is about storytelling. So what role does the tabla play? We have a, a different language, uh, like different syllables to play that. Like dha, na, tere kita, din, din, tak, tere kita, tak, ti, na, kita, tak. So all these together, and some traditional, there are many traditional compositions also. So all this helps us to uh, for so storytelling. The word raga is difficult to translate, but Niladri explains it as a form of musical framework around which the musician weaves a path through the nine emotions of the Navarasa. I think Niladri really set the tone. It was absolutely mind-blowing. The two maestros performed in an incredible way. I couldn't get my eyes off his fingers. Indian classical music, I think, is the preserve of mastery and to experience that um, within oneself at the same time as one seeing it on stage is quite like unusual and remarkable. Raga Ecstasy has certainly lived up to its name as the duo entranced us with their performance. We were all grooving within our seats. 